All right, what's dross? It's a question a lot of people ask when they start learning about casting. Is this dross? No, that's an ingot and an ingot mold. Is that dross? Something that spills over. Nope, that's just clumsy. This is dross. It's the junk we scrape off the top. I've got this scraper here. It's just a 3 16th bar of steel and uh, it's got a rounded end and I scrape the inside of the crucible with this and then I use this I-beam here, a steel I-beam and I scrape off the excess and there it lays. It includes stuff like uh, you can see a little bit of fiberglass in here. Uh, you can see anodized aluminum. It's the shell of the anodized aluminum heat sink. It melts at a much higher temperature so it doesn't melt, it kind of floats to the top. And generally that's what dross is, just junk that floats to the top. Fortunately, a lot of the impurities, now uh, there's a good bit of fiberglass there, floats, just floats right to the top. And when you got a big pile of heat sinks like this, that's quite a few pounds worth. Uh, you got to skim dross a lot and that's why we pour ingots because you skim the dross off you get all the impurities out so you turn a pile of aluminum heat sinks with a lot of hassle you turn them into ingots scraping the dross off and then you can pour these babies or put these babies back in the crucible when you have a real casting to make and just start pouring just start melting and you'll have very little dross once you you uh, melt these ingots the second time because you've already remo removed most of the impurities